I wouldn't have it any other way. Dreams save us. Dreams lift us up and transform us. And on my soul, I swear, until my dream of a world where dignity, honor, and justice becomes the reality we all share, I'll never stop fighting. Ever. My name is Kyle, and no matter how poorly they represent our boy Clark Kent, Superman survives. A lot of people would ask me, isn't that Superman's name? To which I'd smile and say, no, that's Kal-El, son of Krypton. A Superman that, quite frankly, does not get the treatment that we'd like to see him get these days. Because that's old Superman, according to new management. Y'all stripped the appeal from things so hard, even the girls stopped talking. <laughs> Oh, I'm not even paying attention. Sometimes the people handling something you like change. And now, Rocksteady is so woke they can't even let Harley be a femme fatale. Imagine having a DC D-team game and not even monetizing your most lucrative and popular female DC character. I'm talking a Harley at every Halloween party popular character. But you gotta take the dinosaur out of Jurassic Park. Whoever they're reducing Harley for, removing jiggle and girly animations to lower the bar i promise you they preferred her the way that she was and on the note of things that nobody asked for rock studies sushi squad is an endeavor that no one wanted a 70 dollar always online battle pass having third person looter shooter with gun wraps because all the characters you shoot and... You have my sword. And you have my bow. And my... And my gun. And my gun. And my gun. Ooh. And my big gun. And he is this Say one. Say hello to a little friend. Mm hmm Where am I boomerang? <laughs> and here is another gun. Okay, wait. No, no. Not that gun. Not that gun. Look at this. Nobody asked for this. Take it from somebody who doesn't rub elbows with shills. This isn't exclusively about it not being single player. You made the women ugly, so all you had was gameplay, and it shoots the weak spot on your bitch ass. <laughs> Nigga, please. You got a problem with that? <laughs> it is effortlessly Marvel's Avengers all over again. Bruce Tim had himself some fun, and he helped to immortalize a character that, yes, like any other artist, he may have sexualized, you know? But few of us are looking at our wrestling, at our anime, at our fighting games, at any thing that we love and thinking, they should tone that down or make it more realistic. Maybe the escape, the departure, the entertainment, the fantasy of it all is exactly the appeal. Maybe everything doesn't need to match us the way a lot of y'all need it to either match or be worse than you. That insecurity is poisoning these projects that you're making, and it honestly makes me proud, happy, that you boneheaded twerps are working on something so repulsive as this paid battle pass game that needs to be online, even if you're playing single player, even though it's really not single player, so you shouldn't call it that, because when the bots are accompanying you, these situations are built for the four people. And even though you can switch them like Genshin Impact, something it's clear you took a bit of inspiration from, or maybe you were stealing a move from Destiny or any other fucking game, right? I'm sure that you won't take enough inspiration. It's clear that there aren't gamers on deck because a gamer would have known how underwhelming this looks. Saints Row observed the same reaction, the same reception. And with Hogwarts Legacy from the same publisher, we can see that if given time, like the time that you guys have had, they can mix something up that is appealing. What you presented was repulsive. You had time. And there are terrible fucking properties, movies, TV shows, pieces of media that can be marketed well, advertised well. You pay the people 
that can cut a trailer for what people want. You're out of touch, pay somebody who's in touch. Y'all didn't do that, it didn't matter. When Avengers came out, I really focused on the fact that they didn't seem to understand what people wanted with their Avengers game with Kamala Khan and everybody else taking a back seat. Here comes two archers for our first DLC heroes. Please buy our emotes, but you can only use one at a time because there's no emote wheel. What if there's connection issues? What if there's bugs? What if the fixing of those bugs takes up the time that you might need to establish a steady flow of content to trick people into thinking that your title has a future? This has all happened before. But not only can a game be trash and stay trash and have a community of ball gargling shills just exclusively praising and downplaying the shortcomings of these anti-consumer products, they're willing to die on these hills before the game even comes out. And based on Reykjavik's last video, this is happening across the industry. These shills making your hobby worse with their Hogwarts Legacy boycotting ass. ...excused or ignored by fans and developers in favor of adding more overpriced content that was always celebrated. This is why. This is why the genre sucks. Games like FIFA succeed because they give people what they want. They don't fight it. They don't refute it. They don't take their woke Western developer ass and preach to people who are trying to escape through this medium. When a game's been demanding money, and lots of it, for 10 fucking years, and it still can't offer a reliable experience online or off, what's to defend? It's so cute watching people talk about fairness as if Avengers didn't fuck Guardians of the Galaxy out of profit. A genius, well-written game whose combat was lacking, but the writing was strong enough to hold up. Those redeeming qualities are not things that you'll find in 20 FPS slow combat Gotham Knights, or let's focus on the worst and most annoying character in the midst of what's supposed to be an Avengers game. Gamers are right to point and laugh when they see something as terrible representation-wise as Robin's traversal in a game like Gotham Knights. If you can defend that, you got a crotch in your face problem. You understand? That's not a us problem. Censoring, sanitizing, diminishing, diluting, reducing, and removing what offends your sensibilities is a great way to telegraph what you are not. To the normies, you need to captivate the attention of to secure profit. But you're arguing, you're fighting what works, you're reinventing that wheel. And what you're delivering is dated, basic, generic, mid, and even people with the least experience can see that. You're in trouble, Rocksteady. <laughs> But worse, your art censors. At a glance, it's clear you're conforming to the sensibilities of the woke West who finds everything problematic. Tone down that character, only the girl, because only trans women can present feminine in your fucking games. You, Rocksteady, took something as instantly and effortlessly appealing as a comic book character and just woof. If it ain't broke, break it. That's your approach. And that's not how you get a Hogwarts legacy. But tackling it head on and displaying the grim reality is what art is supposed to do in the first place. And not all art should be politically correct. And it shouldn't be up to the journos and their homogenized worldviews who decide whether a game should exist or not, but the players who actually support the games. If you sanitize everything but also want diversity when it comes to storytelling, then you have to be accepting that not every story or game will be what you want. Holy shit, this, this really does evoke Bioshock, uh... Yeah, especially the beginning uh, area. Whoa, whoa! Okay, oh my god. Y'all wish. Y'all wish y'all had this over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wish your feet. No, it's just a, it's just a little bit of fiction. <laughs> where are all the black people? That's what the journalists are like. Uh, where are all the black people? Yeah, where's the diversity? Why are yeah? Why, <laughs> why aren't the why aren't there ugly white women? Why aren't where there? are the gay people? 
I need fat people on the double. I need a dude in a wheelchair. I'm going to need seven of these people to be dinosaurs and anthropomorphic furries that stand up. Everybody needs to be represented. That's how you know you got odd on your hands. <laughs> you got to tick those boxes.